So what is going on guys? Welcome back and it is the night before the Watford versus West Ham United game, the 2019-2020 Premier League season. Now, oh my god, I'm feeling so, so nervous. Um, last week against Brian, didn't think we did very, very well. Um, I thought that we were lucky to come away with a point. We really cannot afford to do that um, tomorrow's game. We really, really can't. I'm hoping that we can go to Watford and try to get three points. Are we going to do it though? Not feeling the most confident at this moment. I've got to try to be, but it's really really hard to i do still stick with my point well as soon as we get our first win i do believe we'll start getting the runner wins i believe that we can get a really good momentum going there's no reason we can't progress further up the table i'm gonna try and go with a 2-1 to west ham the only reason i'm starting to say it is because i think we're gonna have the likes of anderson and Hilaire back i think we're gonna have noble starting as well um they're also gonna be missing troy Deeney. however they've got the likes of danny welbeck to come in and andre gray so it's going to be a tough one, but I'm still going to have faith in the guys. I'm really going to try going for it. I'm going to say 2-1 to West Ham United. I think that we're going to go 2-0 up. I think they're going to get one back, and I think it's going to finish up like that. Um, but, yeah. I also put a thing on my Instagram trying to predict the result as well. If you guys wouldn't mind going following my Instagram page. I'm also on Snapchat and Twitter too. The links are in the description below. If you go follow those pages, that would be fantastic. I'm really trying to update them regularly. So you've got to keep you guys up to date with what's going on. And just some sort of behind the scenes of what happens when I make these videos. And also you can see other footage, other bits of clips of the, uh, the actual game as well. So if you guys would not mind uh, following my Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat, that'd be fantastic. Let's get to it. So I'm in the ground now of Watford. Oh, it's an absolutely gorgeous day for a game of football. The last time I came here, it was the end of the season. It was really, really nice as well. So it's nice to be back. Um, I'm not sure how I feel today. Again, I'm so indifferent. I'm hoping we can do it. I'm going to try to say we're going to win this game. But, do you know, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we were to lose this or get a draw. Um, I'm just hoping that we can come out on top. We really, really need to get our first one. But then again, Watford do too. So Watford haven't been in a good run of form either. They obviously lost their first game of the season to Brighton and then lost to Everton uh, last week. Now this week, they got us. Now I'm hoping that obviously we can try and play up. If we can get a win here, it'll be fantastic. We really need to start our season. I honestly do believe, as I've said already, if, you, if we can get one win going, we will start our season and I believe when you just get in that good run of form, we really, really can start conquering other teams, get trying to start climbing the table. So hopefully, hoping, hoping, hoping for a good win today. So come on you wines, please do not let us down. All right, you guys, I've got Jake back, back on again on the vlogs. Hi. How you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, good, yeah. How, how do you think we'll do today then? Uh, I'm a bit, uh, well, I'll take a 2-1 win. 2-1 win, do you know what? I said 2-1. I'm not too sure. They need their first win. We do as well. Yeah. I really like confidence. Who's going to get the goals, do you think? Haller and Rice. I absolutely love that. That's my man. Thank you so much, my man. And I'm open, hoping that we can get the result. Come on, you irons. Come on, you irons. Just seen the side for this week. We've got Anderson Haller back in. Last week they missed out. It's good to have them back in the side. We're going to have that creativity going forward. Really, really happy. We've got Noble back in as well. We've got a really, really good side. The only thing I would change, I think, would maybe be Og Bonner for Wild Buena. But to be fair, I'm not against Og Bonner really. I do actually like him. I think he's a good player. So really happy with the lineup so far. And also we've got Antonio Fornells um, and Jetty to come onto the pitch and change up the game if we need as well. So it's really nice we've got back on the bench. It's starting to feel a bit more confident towards this game. Come on your minds.
Come on, West Ham, please get a result. The fans are in so good points yet again. Here we go again, second time. God bless in the net, son. No ball. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Yes! It was so, so nice. They played such good football. Going forward, it looks so nice. So, so good. Think they had the squad back, but we've got to keep this going for the whole 90 minutes. We've got to just be good now. The whole game, come on, 100%. Some of the best football I've seen played for ages. So, so close to making that 2-0 there. Oh, no, we didn't. And now, what's the winner? He's offside there, isn't he? Oh, my God. Dio just pulled off. One of the best. And we are playing so well. I can't believe it wasn't offside, though, for what the dead but... Either way, great football from West Ham. Great football from West Ham. Attack now. Brilliant run from Lanzini. Anderson, Anderson, Anderson. VAR ref. That was handball there. Come on. VAR, VAR. Come on. Where's the VAR? One or Watford. Especially just to say at their attack, I thought there might be a penalty to West Ham. Andre Gray comes up to the West Ham fan and starts giving it to us. 1-0. So frustrating. We've been playing so, so well. That's gone against one to play. We did not deserve to concede that. I've been always saying last week against Brown, we deserve to lose. We deserve to concede. Not this time. Didn't deserve that. Rubbish. Both West Ham and Watford players have had to have a drink break to how hot it is here. This is the West Ham fans. In. It just went in, I thought it went on the line. It must have just gone wide, another corner West Ham, I can't believe it. Half time 1 0, we started off the game so, so well, looking so good. Could have made it 2 0 or 4 points. But since Wolfram got back in the game, they slowly started to come into this game with more chances, opportunities. Down that left hand side, we look so, so poor. Masawaku is so open. Like, honestly, we've had Anderson do more of a job yeah. in left-back I feel than we've had Masawaku. We just got to, you know, just keep going, trying to fight for it. Because at the moment, we have to go, we could lose this game. Yarmolenko yeah. with an attempt outside the box. I'll tell you what, it wasn't far off going in. Really, really challenged Foster there. Most open net goal I've seen this season. I cannot believe it had the open net. Fabianza came out line trying to stop Andre Gray. Andre Gray does the best thing possible, puts it, squares it, an open net, and the Wofford player puts it over. We should be losing this game now. Antonio's come on for Yarmolenko, and I think it was the right decision from Pellegrini. We need something else, I think that's about right. Come on, West Ham. I don't know, but it's been end to end non-stop this game, what a game it is. I just, I, I just don't get this side, we do all the hard work, you get to the final third, no one shoots. Oh, Anderson. Oh, 
pass Lowe and rest that goal. Just pass it into the net. It's finally about time we got a goal. We need this game is not over. We need another goal. This game is far from over. We've gone two one up. Let's have a repeat of last year. Here we go, Fredericks, Antonio. Oh my God, yes, come on. guys I'm back from the game now it was Watford 1 West Ham United 3 and getting that was absolutely amazing um 
for being brutally honest. So starting the game off, thought we started off really, really well. Um, some lovely play up front. Lanzini getting pulled down the box. There was no doubt it was a penalty. I'm not going to lie, though. I did think Haller could have shot. Amazing pass to Lanzini. Don't get me wrong. I think any of them could have shot. I think Anderson could have had a shot. I think any of them could have. But instead, we got the penalty. Noble tucks penalty away amazingly. Like he did last year against Watford at their place. Um, and it was just absolutely fantastic to be honest. I'm so, so pleased. Norwich next week, and we've got to win that as well. How well they did against Chelsea, how they beat Newcastle. And to be honest, they didn't play bad against Liverpool either on the first day of the season. So, to be honest, it's going to be a really tough one. But I'm confident we can do this. There's no reason why we cannot. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Comment below your opinions. Love to hear what you think of the game. Watford fans, West Ham fans, any Premier League fans, what was your perception of that game? For me, I think it was a great result. I think it was a deserved result to West Ham, but I do believe Watford had the opportunities. I just think they're having a bit of an off day up front, and I think it was just a really, really hot day. The players had a water break each half as well, just to show how hot the day was. So uh, I can just, I can understand they're still human at the end of the day, even though they're footballers and they're trained athletes. You still got on Sunday our footballers and they're gonna get knackered and it's gonna it's a it's a tough day, you know, it's hot. And if you guys haven't already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you all very soon. Peace.